so sad. Jonathan. Man, I'm sorry I had to wake you. We're here. We're home. After mom passed, dad never would leave this place. And after it got to be uh, too much for him to handle by himself, I think he felt like this house was all he had left of her, you know, like her spirit was still here or, or something. Dad? Yes, son? If you're back there, then how are you gonna be in the picture? Uh, I'm gonna set the camera on a timer. What does that mean? That means that the camera's not gonna take the picture until your dad gets his cute little butt over here. Really? The camera knows how to do that? As a matter of fact, it does. But how does Mark, it... will you just shut up and take the stupid picture? Jonathan, I have told you, not to talk to your brother that way. And how about a smile? This is a family picture. Okay, everyone ready? Here we go. I like to remember how much they really did love each other. And if dad believed that mom was still here, then and I believe that he's here with her now. Yeah, they, they loved each other. I know that. Their lives are a testament. And Jonathan, I know they loved us both very much. Yeah. Maybe. changed that much at all, has it? At least not from how I remember it. I guess that wasn't really all that long ago, though, was it? For me, anyway. What's it been for you, Jonathan? Seven years. Right. We were just kids then. That was a good day. Was it? I seem to remember him yelling at me the whole time. In fact, I remember him yelling at me most of my life. He was a man with the rules. That's all he ever was. I don't. I don't remember it like that. Of course you don't. It was your life. You didn't have to deal with this shit. You never did. It was mine. I had to deal with it. 
You don't even know. Listen, I know you and Dad. Just and stop. Okay. If that's how you're gonna be, I've got other rooms in the house to check out before the realtor gets here. smell the alcohol on his breath. Don't know where he's been. God help me, Teresa. I just don't know anymore. I've been there. I remember that. I've been through what he is going through right now. I only want what's best for him. But he keeps shutting me out. How do I get through? I know. But we have to have faith that one day it'll pass. I mean, we've done all we know. He has to walk his own path out now. All we can do is Continue to love him. And then one day, we'll have our son back. <laughs> I want to believe that. I really do. to that little boy that just wanted to hold my hand. Listen, you are a good father. You are a good me. Hey! Hey, son. Where's my keys? I have them. What? Why do you have my keys? Where do you think you're going? What does it matter to you? Give me my fucking key! Jonathan! I can't make you do anything, son. But as long as you're living in this house, you will not talk to me or your mother this way. Do you understand? No, I don't understand. You know what, Dad? You can go fuck yourself! This is fucking bullshit! I'm out of here! Jonathan! Jonathan, come! Back. I love you. you in the ground. You're not real. No. This isn't real. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're dead. You're not real. Will you give a thirsty man something to drink? What? Son. 
I'm thirsty. Even in death, can I not hold my son? No. Get away from me! Son, this is not the life we could have had. We should have had. My only regret in life was that I could not take your bitterness from you. And now you have to live with it. I never wanted that for you. I don't know what I ever did to make you hate me so. I'm sorry. I try. Forgive me. Let me go to my rest knowing that my son can live well without bitterness and hate. No. No! Fuck you! Fuck you! No! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! So, uh, our realtor, Jack Phelps, says that some big developer wants to come in here and turn this whole area into some sort of giant commercial complex, you know, like a, like a mall. Says the city's grown out this way, and if we act now, we can, we can get top dollar. But, you know, Jack says a lot of things. <sighs> but, I don't think that we should do it. I mean... This place, it is our childhood, or what's left of it. And I just don't think I'm ready to see it turn into some place where teenage girls come to buy shoes. But this isn't just up to me, so what do you think, John? This place is dead. There's nothing here. Burn it down. I don't fucking care. How could you say that? Listen. Bitter fuck. When this is all over, I better not see you again for a long time. You didn't even cry at his funeral, did you? You know, all these years you've been you've been blaming Dad for for what's your own fault. You put everything off on, on everybody but yourself, but you don't seem to understand that it's all your fault, all of it. You know, you can you can blame me or mom, or dad, or I don't really give a shit. But all of this bullshit that you've built up in your head over the years, you're the one who has to live with it. You know, dad, he's lucky because he doesn't have to deal with you anymore. He's gone. But you, Still miserable. Who are you gonna blame now? You're all alone. I'll be waiting in the car when you're ready to go.